Because I can hear what you're saying, mm -hmm. but then I can see that you're dressed as a cat. Uh, I'm a and, dog. And, but you see yourself as an actual dog, right? You said you like to go play fetch. He, he, I, he, woof, yes. I don't think you can be sexist towards men, and I don't think you can be racist towards white people. Yeah, so you think that they just went to Africa and then like rounded them all up and like caught them, put them in sacks, and then put them <laughs> on That's, the boat? Are you trying to like say that like white people were slaves too? Yeah, white people were also slaves. Men get treated more harshly in the court of law is sexist. Yes. Towards yes. I, I don't yes, think it's absolutely. sexist. No? Jake has arrived. He's, he's, uh, what's it called? He he, made it through the treacherous <laughs> rainstorms and the flooding. The flooding. Was of, it flooded? Actually, I'm sorry. Are you wearing socks? <laughs> there wasn't any flooding. That's good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'm Jake. Good evening. Nice good evening. to meet you. Oh How you all God. doing? Jake, we're gonna be leg to leg here. It's, it's a big. So it's fun. a big panel today. Dreams come true. Big, sometimes. big panel. <laughs> Right you you were listening to the stream while you were driving, correct? I was. Mm -hmm. I was. Okay. I was taking mental notes. So raise your hand if you are a um, demisexual. Yeah, I didn't Isn't even know what that word was what? until today. Yeah. I didn't even know. What is that? Can someone explain it to me? What is that? Um, when you will like only have sex with someone when you have like notes. an emotional <laughs> mental bond with them. Yeah. It's when you're uh, normal. In like a, a genuine connection. Yeah, I don't expect you to be. Yeah. Well, you yeah. just like don't hook up with people basically. Yeah. Is it a preference? Like, like that's your main preference? Like you're not attracted to people's skin at like all? Like people's looks and stuff? Yeah. No. Okay. Really. Raise your hand if you're a fem cell man repellent. <laughs> 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 Isn't it these two? Is it or no? You're not fem cell. You're just celibate. Okay. Okay. There's no such thing as fem cell. <laughs> no such thing as fem cell. Yeah. Concur. Um, what else was my notes? Someone's a dog. <laughs> Are you a, you're a dog. I am. And who was saying that they want a Christian monarchy? Let me see. Oh what? Give me some sugar. Oh. That is based. <laughs> I like it. All right. All right. What up? <laughs> Sweet. So you're saying that you would like a gentlemanly man, somebody who courts you, takes you on a date, all of these sorts of things? Absolutely. I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit in two minds here because I can hear what you're saying, mm -hmm. but then I can see that you're dressed as a cat. And I'm a and, dog, and, and, so... And dog. you call yourself a dog. Woof, yes. Do you Nick, can you that open that door more? Perhaps hindering that a little bit, the fact that you... Are so I don't deserve respect because I'm dressing like an animal? Well, I, I don't mean, deserve to be well, treated like a person you, okay. because no, I'm no, dressing no, no, like no. an animal? What was I, do you think that that might be a deterrent for a man who is more traditional if you're dressing like a dog? Uh, no, because I'm not out seeking anything traditional. I was simply reflecting on a college experience that so I had. So you're not seeking that sort of person? Uh, I, I appreciate that kind of person. I'm not seeking anything specifically. I don't seek people. I don't. Okay. I'm not so when you look at a relationship, are you, are you looking at like a pet owner? type relationship or like two dogs in, a, in the relationship or what, what's what's your ideal <laughs> uh, a partner who loves and respects me and sees me as an equal that I am but you see yourself as an actual dog right you said you like to go play fetch he, he, I, he, woof yes so how does that tie into your relationship like what are you looking for if, if you're a dog um uh, I'm looking for um somebody to throw me a ball and then also say um oh hey uh i i appreciate you you know bringing in a financial you know uh, amount to the situation i appreciate you having your own thoughts and theories about the world around you and not somebody who sees me as an animal i think that i think i think uh i think the issue is, is is that men see uh have a difficult time seeing women in submissive positions without overbearing power toward them and especially that can lead into like okay you see me and a man sees me wearing a dog collar and he's like oh i want to i want to touch i want a tug on that? Are you wearing so that collar for me? Are you saying that the dog thing isn't a sexual fantasy? It's not a. Kink. Not in any it's way. Not a it is a submissive sexual fantasy. It, it's. I. Are you a Therian? No, no. No. Is this a long-term thing for you? Yes. The dog thing? Yes. You you see you you're taking this into your relationships one day? It it's been a part of my life my whole life. And so, do you think that this should factor in when you're thinking about the kind of man that you want to be with? Like not I was at saying all. Before you haven't thought about that. You just want someone I, who fully accepts you for for the dog. No, I want somebody to hold me accountable for my actions and decisions that I make. And if I'm putting off an image that is um, uh, in inappropriate, then I trust that. Whenever my whenever my family first uh, saw me doing social media, I've never engaged in OnlyFans. I've never engaged in cam work. But because of the fact that I'm wearing animal ears, there is a misconception because in the porn so industry... So you've never, you've never done any OnlyFans? No. Okay. Well, that, that changes a little bit because it, it could actually be a phase and it's not something that's an overt sexual... It's interesting that I, I like specify... Exactly. I, I just not 
sexual kink whenever I specify it's been a part of my life forever it is it is a it is a lifestyle that I live I am the kid that was at school playing wolves on the park you know what I mean on the on the playground and it Do you does think not there'll come a time when that has to subside for more adult duties I think even in private relationships there's women who basically say I'm a fairy I'm a mermaid I'm this but yeah. in private relationships that's expressed only with a partner I think in your case you're kind of publicizing that yeah, yeah I don't think it's necessarily out of the ordinary to be like oh I'm this imaginary creature or I'm this animal or exactly I, I'm with a partner yeah there's no there's no cognitive dissonance for me in who I am or my regard and my role with people you know it's it's not like so that. is it a you think you're like a genetically like your biology is canine or is it the fact that you you just take that upon yourself it's, um, it's, it, it's it's def it's definitely a, a personality thing. I'm very dogish, and I've mm -hmm. always been that way. I've always. Here, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten. Okay, right one to ten. Shoot, I gotta be like a little bit humble. Okay, like like it. Nah, it's like <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. You got back, it. Back on. Ten, you ten. can do okay, it. We, we can, we can do it. Yeah, you yeah. got it. <laughs> ten, wait, ten. We had ten. We had ten. We just had got to be a little humble. <laughs> okay, gotta be. Let me see that switch over my mind. Like, okay, mm -hmm. whatever. She's, yeah, she's yeah. Okay. She's ten. She's ten. She's a ten. She's a ten. Eleven. I'm very attractive. <laughs> Are you the only ten? Is she the only ten? I'm the only eleven. eleven. She's eleven. Oh, she's an eleven. Um, okay, well. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to rate you, but you're not an 11. <laughs> okay. No, Brian, can you please tell me at least? Yeah. Tell you what. Why don't you, would you rate just her? rate us? Just rate us. Rate us. Can okay. just go around the table? I, I like no how, I like, no, first of all, I like how he called me out, out of everybody else, because all of you voted lower than you actually physically are. No, he they didn't. They were just out. being truthful. These two were voted no, lower than they are, but everyone else was rather truthful, except I'm the other truthful. 10s. <laughs> was there any other 10s? I was making a I joke. She was a 10. Oh, she was a 10. You were in two minds, though. If I didn't believe okay. you anyway. If I believe you when you said that. Anybody, if it's I not going to hurt anybody's feelings, can we like hear Brian's yeah, rating? I need to know what they're rating. Yeah. So when, when you say 11, mm. do you think that there's any room for improvement? Do you think that you have any room for improvement I think, physically? I think aging is one of the most beautiful things that we do as people, like existing. You're and 27, I, right? I am. And so it's I... It's a good e age. Even, even, I don't... Thank you. you don't, yep, e not. Even a matter of how different I looked three years ago versus now, I, I love aging and I'm excited for the process of aging and I you're, find... You're excited to age? I am. We're all marching steadily towards the grave. So okay. three years ago, you were better than you are now or, or worse? Um, I was the same but different. I, I, find, I, I find it like dissonant because I I don't change any like uh, personal habits of like grooming or otherwise whenever it comes to like how I you know do my hair or like how I like hold myself but like definitely like okay I have nicer fitted clothes now that I actually make more money than when you, you know, say whatever. 11 do you th are you thinking about it in in your eyes or are you thinking about it in like the broader society of like what other people would probably in general consider you as well mm -hmm. so in, you think in that you general, general, like, like like beautiful like you're really more like incredibly the standard basically Thank you. I think that this uh, is why girls girls aren't very good friends to each other sometimes. Because if I if I if I, if I had a friend telling me that he's a ten, and he's not, I'd just tell the guy. Yeah. Well, but not a ten. You're so a bit delusional. I feel like I'm a so you're, I feel but, 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 like if but anything, hold on, hold on a second. Yeah. When you say you're a, an eleven, as you mm -hmm. said, that is the top. Top percentile. Okay, like that is saying. Victoria's Secret supermodel. Why, like why is Victoria's Hadid? Secret the standard like of beauty? Hadid. Because they, because they're like they're, yeah, they're considered some of the most beautiful too. women in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're pretty pretty fine. The Victoria's okay. Maybe Secret Maybe in like models. 2017. But mm. Victoria's Secret has changed. I'm I'm a little confused on like your your. But that's I would like, say Rihanna like Rihanna, like, Rihanna like ponder standards. replay. Her face yeah. would be like that a ten. That you're aging yourself there. You're talking about like the aging it. Yeah, because like no nobody like I feel like in like this generation of like younger women nobody's thinking like oh Rihanna's the beauty standard they're thinking like Cardi B even like Nicki are you Minaj calling me old uh, I'm, I'm one year older than you honey I'm telling I'm you that it's showing I'm telling you that your preferences of uh, their nice preferences so you think have. that me me totally having a preference for that. Rihanna ponder replay is is showing my age it seemed as though <laughs> I that's not a bad it's not a jab huh? like, no, I, I no you in this one because she's just calling you <laughs> hip she's calling you hip will calling you guys, me hip cool. yeah, you guys yeah. well it's Honor you're kind of like you're kind of I'll, I'll deflecting you you're kind of deflecting from the actual conversation at hand by questioning oh. like his his awareness of modern musicians ultimately we are talking about rating and you rated yourself an 11 you rated yourself a 10 um, again I'm not particularly can you guys stop interrupting please I'm not particularly inclined to 
to actually rate any of you, but those of you who claim to be a 10 or 11 in your case, there's no 10 sitting at this table. Is that supposed to hurt my feelings? I'm not, is, no, is, I'm, no, it's I mean, just, is, it's is, like, is that supposed to be a big mic drop moment? No, like, it's I'm just, confused. it's purely just a is, statement is, of fact. I'm not doing it to get a rise out well, of you or to try to be triggering. I'm, I'm confused because we, I think we can all agree that uh, on the topic of, you know, how I believe that looks are only important on the first impression, I don't believe that any of us are, you know, walking around saying, we need a six foot five man who's 300 pound that muscle and all that. That is irrelevant though. Well, I mean, but what I'm irrelevant. saying is because, you're, because I'm being compared to Victoria's Secret models when yeah. in reality, I don't have any barometer okay. of what world. I... I don't have any barometer of how I view yeah, an attractive. Yeah, but you don't get to dictate to the world how attractive you or asked unattractive me, you are. You asked me, honey. You asked right, me. But, but the question, the kind of the, the sense mm. of the question is, is what general, like how am I generally perceived? For example, let me ask all the girls here a question. If a guy who was obese, he was unkempt, didn't groom himself, smoked weed all day, lived, lived at his parents' house, played video games all day, um, just neck beard, uh, I'm trying to think of other other things, five foot five. Um, I mean, some of these are not really related to physical attractiveness, but if he claimed he was a 10, would you guys like co-sign that like and just be like, yeah, he's a 10? That just makes no offense to me. Like, why, why would I sit there and, and be like, hey, what do you think you are? And then somebody say, well, this is how I view myself. And you go, well, screw you. You're actually not. Like, it's just a very no. strong. Well, it, mean, it depends if you're having a round table conversation but, about okay, it. But okay, so really. am I an overweight older man who has a neck beard, who smokes weed and is ungrooming himself? No. That's kind of a, is, you make yeah. really kind like of a silly bad point. faith. You yeah. make really bad faith, disingenuous I don't, arguments. I don't mean to, I'm, I'm I don't saying, mean to yeah, that. no, but but you're saying, am I calling you that? No, but I'm trying to use an extreme to try to articulate a point. Uh -huh. We can all agree that some people are more attractive than others, yes. correct? Yes. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Have you girls never rated men on their physical appearance? Like, yes. physical appearance means <laughs> nothing to I'm, you? I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm definitely uh, so I said I, fi that physical looks, this started because I made the assertion that phys I believe physical looks are only important on the first go, and mm -hmm. now you're insinuating, do, do women even like rate men? I'm, I'm confused on how we got here, I, I think suppose. women don't tend to have as like constructive of like a scale Borderline. as men do. Yeah. I think, I think, oh, I think women don't really have that structure of a scale as men do. I think that they tend to value, like, for example, you like the bad boys, you like a particular type of men, we all have our specific type, and so based off of that is what we're gonna consider a 10. But we don't really Yeah, it's, it's more based on yeah. a type, whereas for men, it, there's, a, there's a beauty standard set for the world, which is Victoria's Secret model, which is artists, and that makes sense yeah, as to why you would have the thing is as well, that. I rated myself a seven. I think Byron was maybe a little bit harsh with the five. But men, we have to kind of understand that, because if I walk around saying I'm a 10 and I'm flawless, then my friends will look at me like you are a delusional idiot mm -hmm. and this is what girls don't have and then you sort of like argue to the girls about the fact no I am 11 because of my subject I'm not telling it doesn't any matter other... about your subjective opinion you're I, simply not a I, 10 I, I, I've, I have never once been a girls girl oh my god you're so pretty no 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 you're so pretty bestie like I can't stand whenever the women have that kind of like like attitude <laughs> I guess what do you mean? Um, this, of, like, is, what this is genuinely not making any sense to me I think it's very beautiful for a woman to look at herself and mm -hmm. call herself the most beautiful yeah. woman okay okay but I think that is self totally an utterly unattractive. Question, if a woman looks at herself in the mirror and says, right. I'm no, the most beautiful. Hold on a second. Hold on. Day. Stop interrupting. Go ahead. If, if somebody looks at themselves in the mirror and says, I'm the most beautiful woman in the world, you think that that's attractive? See, that's where yes. you're wrong. Yes. See, that's where you're wrong. You see, this is why girls shouldn't be friends with each other. They, no, need, they, ne they need brothers okay. and they need this fathers to put them I had in their place about no. My father always told me that shit. Yeah, my father figure raised me to know my worth. And so because I know my value and I'm asserting my value at a table that I'm considered unreasonable, Though, this is where you're wrong though because okay, I'm not me. saying that you're looking yourself in the mirror and thinking that your eye shape is perfect your nose shape is but perfect but that is what it means to be the most no, beautiful no, no, woman no, no, in the world no 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 yeah. being the most beautiful woman in the world of the inside and out being a woman but we just you, said on physical we just said on physical looks table. we were I know but she's hey, saying she's scoot the most your beautiful. mic to the edge of the table oh, sorry. please she's saying she's the most beautiful woman in the world I mean if you want to take a tape measure to my waist size to my lip size to the way that my nose is the my my I don't have to because I can look at you and see that you're not a 10 if a man was to sit Lads, here, look, you have an option of two people. You find one more attractive. It could be physical. It could be personality. It could be status. It could be all sorts of things. You've just made like a, a some, to some degree, a judgment on that person. Maybe it's a one and a zero. It's a yes or a no. That is a judgment in its own right. And then if you have enough people leaning more towards giving a yes, to say person A versus person B, then you can rank order them. And then if you have 100 people, then you start rank ordering them. And that would be your value in the dating marketplace. 
And I, we're talking specifically when it comes to just so looks. Why what, are you what, so, so, what, so what, um, what are you asking me now? No, he's just uh, he's outlining to you that the fact that this is like a this is something that we can actually quantify. We can oh, quantify well, people. Let, okay. let me ask you a question. So yeah. let's say we lined up ten thousand men. Okay. And those men were all un unbiased, and they were all tasked with ranking you on a scale of one to ten. Okay. And if the I don't know if it would be the mean or the average, but they came to the conclusion that you're a seven. Mm -hmm. 10,000 men, Okay, that's the sample size. Would you be like, well, that seems pretty reasonable. 10,000 men have rated me. I'm in, I must be, I'm likely to be a seven. Those are 10,000 different like worldviews and experiences. That's 10,000 different people who view different, uh, so that's 10,000 people where one can say, okay, the Victoria's Secret Beauty model is the standard. And then there's another person that says, oh, actually the person who's playing on Euphoria or on HBO is actually a beauty standard. Yeah, so they both be pretty hard. So it, see, it, well, it seems very, conf I guess the, 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 the root of the, this matter I seems very confusing. What she's trying yeah, to no, say. No, no, what, what, do you, do you want me to it, admit that I'm unattractive in a way that no, I don't no, agree no. with? I'm yeah. confused. No, no, no. We're like, just simply pointing out the delusion in your view on yourself. That's can all. I interject? So something? when you, when you <laughs> take 10,000 people, it's a little let's, let's, let's say that delusion. there's like a perfectly even cross section of the population, mm. people from all different walks of life, mm, and they sorry. were all to come to the consensus that you were a seven. Would you accept it? Are you okay? Like, what? why are you okay. so trying to like convince? No, I'm, okay. no, there I'm, 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 I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, but why don't you actually answer his question and engage in good faith instead of like trying to say, are you okay? Who hurt you? Well, like actually just I didn't answer his ask, question. I'm confused because I feel very targeted because two other women on this, on this panel also said, oh, I see myself as 10, so why are we just, not She said her boyfriend sees her as a 10. Back. And she was just, she was, she, I, I didn't really believe She's not really really pushing. I, I mean, I if you put a picture of, let's say, Sabrina Carpenter, Paris Hilton, and... Paris Hilton? Do you sorry, not think sorry. she's gorgeous? Back in her day. Are you crazy? Back in her day, yeah, she was great. She's she incredible. <laughs> Paris is amazing. I, there, <laughs> Bella, Bella Hadid, you, you said, you, or you said G, uh, did you say Gigi Hadid, for I have no idea who uh, you, I think you said Bella. one of the Hadid oh, girls. Yeah. Yeah. I said uh, Rihanna, Ponda Replay. I said hey, Bella Hadid. Hadid. Oh, Rihanna, Rihanna is my idol. She, she said Bella Hadid. Uh, okay. But the, you know, if we're talking objectively, like Western standards, okay, larger lips, higher cheekbones, slimmer jawline, smaller waist, larger tits. I, I, there are facets of my physical being that I align with that. So it makes sense for my thought pattern to look in the mirror and say, oh, yes, this is what Western beauty standards are telling me is beautiful. Of course. But, I, okay, so I the thing that. is, you've been talking for like five minutes. You started getting emotional. Everyone started getting emotional. They're Ooh. baiting you. They want right. you to... Just no, say I'm not yes, sir. Just say no, yes, I'm not. sir. I'm not whatever baiting you anyone. Say uh, bait? Is the law, whatever you, no, 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 whatever you no, think no, no, no. is truth. Listen, and that's listen. It. I'm, I'm not, I'm I not baiting not anyone. Because I said it's, okay. It, it's simply, no, exactly. it's simply. Just, just, yes. Were you talking about Hold me? on it. No, not you. Hold no. on a second. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm not baiting anyone. It's just, it's objective that beauty actually operates on somewhat of a bell curve. Most people are normal. Is that your code? Like seventy. No, yes, sir, of course. Can what I was that? interject something? So, so, so about 70, 80% of people are probably going to fall between like the four and seven sort of mark. And then it's going to really thin out towards the end. So when we're talking about nines and tens, they, like, if you ever see a 10, they're a head turner. If you ever see a one, it ruins your day. Yeah. You know? yeah. What? So. I don't think about people like, what? Yeah, you haven't seen a one then. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I said. <laughs> I, that's like. <laughs> um, so you guys yes. are seeming to have like a much more logical, objective approach to a beauty standard, mm -hmm. and some of the other girls are holding themselves to a much more loose, less rigid. Yeah. Yes, queen. It yeah. Yeah. It's more it's yeah. And it's like, yeah, like my sure, ten is just like. Ten, you know? Don't hate the player, hate the game. You know? okay. I definitely but think there's limitations the on beauty standards. Of, like, no, I understand the difference, but that's why it's a debate, that. because we have our differences. And that's the difference then... between the female brain and the male but brain. But it's not a debate if you ask my opinion and then you say, you're wrong, you're wrong. You're... It's like, why? I, yeah, I was waiting actually, for the, okay, let's move that was on. A actually, little bit the way ridiculous. that the conversation works yeah. is you say what you think, I say what I think, I substantiate it with mm -hmm. whatever like the metrics are that mm -hmm. I use. You substantiate it with whatever the metrics are that you yeah. use, and then we let everybody decide who's right. But what happened was I was substantiating, and you were just saying, oh, what's wrong with I you? Feel You're but, triggered. No, I, you were just I, shaming. No, no, can Girl, I, can say I, okay. See, but I think she's objectively a 10. Like, I actually think she's objectively same, a 10, same. though. I genuinely do you, do you think it's I feel... Do you think it's the aesthetic, or do you think it's, like, think actually her actual really. physical, like, appearance? I but just think look at her facial structures. I think she's she's a beautiful girl. We're not saying that she's not a Mm -hmm. But I'm not I just don't know. I know, but a 10. Like you, you, you asserted that this line of questioning was 
was hateful, and I'd like you to prevent, provide some evidence for how it's hateful, because, I mean, this, this, it occurs to me that this is a, uh, well, what you're trying to make us all what you're trying to make us all feel like right now. I'm not right trying now, to make you feel any sort of way. I'm it having does, a conversation Whether you're with trying to or not, it does. It makes us, it's opening our brains to realize, oh, you're going to get uglier as you age. That's how you all want us all to feel right now. But don't you think and that that's, like, that's, not, that's well, not like a crazy thing to say? That's, that's pretty... Yes, pretty that cool. is. That is like the opposite of body positivity. Well, I'm not... I, hold on. I think I've reality. been very uh, mm -hmm. diplomatic in the way I've... Not my, not my reality. Not my reality. Well, okay, I'm, I never called any of you ugly, and I think I said all of you Yeah, you straight up called her ugly, bro. When? No. That, like a little while ago. Do, do you think you I were like, you're not a 10. Yeah, that's, he just said you're not a 10. So you think you that somebody that's not, not a 10 is ugly? You think that's, that's, that's not me calling her ugly? You, well, your face I mean, was I mean, ugly. It felt mean-spirited. I'll be. It felt targeted yeah. and mean-spirited just simply meant, because I said that specific He could have meant you're a 9.5, not a 10. Yeah, so I didn't take it negatively, but I understand why you would have felt that energy, because I... Yeah, girl. Yeah, but that's... I mean, that's... Erroneous! Erroneous! You're making everybody defensive. Like I'm like. Ooh. I think we just need to differentiate I mean, of no like objective, like objective, like what you mean by like. Okay, well, what do you rate yourself? I'd rate myself this. She might rate my, you know, the world might rate me that. And I'm just saying, like, I think that's important to differentiate because I it think a lot of people. It's interesting to see how people interpret the question, though. It's not yeah, even no, a I agree. I agree. Question. Without yeah. it's like not even like you can have even two sides on mm -hmm. that. Technically. So, yeah, so do you do you think that it's an offensive thing to say if you say to somebody you're going to get less attractive as you get older? Yes. You think that's a hateful thing to say? Definitely. And if you think hundred percent, and you think it's also a hateful thing to say to yeah. say somebody that, that you're not a ten. Hundred percent. But why 100%. are you valuing what they say about you? Hold on I'm a second. Not. No, no therapy. I'm just right now. like. Hold on a second, though. So you think that that's that's um, like an unreasonable thing to say? Why? What do you mean why? That creates negative emotions in people. It creates self-esteem issues. You're trying to give everyone self-esteem problems. But like, like if, I, we're, if, not, if I, so? we're not trying to if, do anything. If I was Girl, to say to you, uh -uh. you're you're going to get really ugly as you get older. That might be a little bit of a self-esteem problem. Or if I was to say to you, you're a two, that would be a self-esteem problem. But if I'm pointing out to you the objective reality that as human beings get older, mm -hmm. we get less attractive That's a in the eyes of the reality. world. I don't I know like what it's... you're talking about. So an you think that an 80-year-old is, is, is more attractive than a 25-year-old? Girl, that's not even thoughts I just want to bring Can you not call me my... girl? <laughs> Sorry, that's, just how, that's how I talk. That's how, that's in, in yeah. my... Can you be racist against white people? That's another. <laughs> let, that, let's yes. double down on He's that. Really, I don't think you can be sexist towards men, and I don't think you can be racist towards white people. Mm. Like, yeah. honey, you're the problem. Arson. Get some help. What about it? When we get outside, when we get outside, when we get outside, let's stop with the side <laughs> conversations. Um, how have you arrived at that conclusion? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Just hearing like all the stories about like all this messed up stuff they did in the past. Like I'm not even yeah. black, but I have a grudge against them. Well, wait, but you're part, part white. Can I, you're part white. Can yeah. I just can I just take? And can, I we, can we go go down this path? Mm -hmm. What what stories are you referring to in particular? I don't know. Just learning stuff in history. Like, are you YouTube referring videos? to? Hold slavery? on a second. Can yeah, I just? Can we just? Exactly. Are you are you referring to slavery? Yeah, and just like the treatment of them over time since then, like all the discrimination. Do you think that uh, white people were the only ones who engaged in slavery? Pro probably not. That's probably around the world too. Do you think that maybe the fact that you don't know that everybody engaged in slavery is part of the reason why you think the way that you do about this? Um, I don't know. I know. I don't think it has to do with my worldviews. I think it has to do with the insecurity of myself. I don't like the white part of me, so I kind of project that onto others, probably. Thank right. you. Right. Okay. Well, Is that's that well, racist? that's that's a pretty that's a pretty self-aware thing to say. But the transatlantic slave trade. How do you think they went about getting slaves? Like, what do you think the process was? Didn't they go up like I, that's that's part of America, right? They like went into Africa and stole them from their homes. Yeah, so you think that they just went to Africa and then like rounded them all up and like caught them, put them in sacks, and then put them on that's, the boat? That's pretty much what I <laughs> the gist of what I got out yeah. of So the reality books. of it is, and like it's not your fault for not knowing this, our education system is so flawed mm -hmm. that the Africans who were sold in the slave trade were sold by other Africans. So there were slave markets in Africa where they would capture their own people and then sell them off overseas. And there was also the Barbary slave trade as well, which was um, like Arabic Barbary pirates who would capture white Europeans and enslave them too. 
and there was like over a million white Europeans that were enslaved during the Barbary slave trade. And the Arabics were ones were particularly brutal because they used to castrate the men. And then if they, if they were ever to be caught by like another ship, they would chuck them all overboard, slit their throats and chuck them over, overboard. So mm. sla- slavery happened around the world everywhere. So wait, are you trying to like say that like white people were slaves too? Yeah, white people were also slaves. That's where the term mm. slave comes from is the Slavic region. Exactly. That's why Eastern Europeans are so oppressed even within Europe. I don't know, but I didn't see them oppressed over here that much. Like didn't, I don't know. In history, I don't, I don't see books talking about the oppression of white people. Yeah, that's, why that's, do you think that's that a is? problem. <laughs> Basically trying to live up to a man's role, which it just doesn't naturally play out that way. Yeah. There's something to be said about the fact that if you say to a woman, <clears throat> make me a sandwich, that's meant to be derogatory. But if you say to a man, do the, do like mow the lawn, he's like, okay. Right. <laughs> right. It's my, it's my role. I don't know. I just have never, I've just never seen sexism in my personal life. So I just like, I don't even know what you're talking about really. Like, you know what I'm Mental saying? Mental health. Do you guys, um, labor, true. do you guys like, think yes. that, uh, safety? Sure. The, the um, fact that men get treated more harshly in the court of law is sexist? Yes. Towards yes. I, I don't yes. think it's sexist. No? I think that, no. as we've discussed with psychopathy, basically, like when a woman demonstrates psychopathy, because of her physical disadvantages, she can only go so far. When a man demonstrates psychopathy, he can brutalize someone, basically. So I'm like, in that respect, I still think that there is supposed to be that gender binary. So you think that if a woman puts a gun to somebody's head and pulls the trigger, man does the exact same thing, they should be treated differently? I think they should be treated exactly the same in that respect. It's the same crime. Yeah. But men tend to be more prone to that type of... So if, 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 they do mm-hmm. it, if they do it to a, to a, like a more extreme extent, then I would agree they get treated differently. Yes. But for the same crime, women get lesser sentences. I'd say it's because we're still trying to deprogram or deconstruct, unfortunately, that binary. Because mm. women, when they committed a murder back in the 1800s, they weren't even like barely prosecuted, basically, for it. We were seen as being the docile sex. We were seen as being politically neutral when we didn't vote. We were seen as being like the weaker vessel. And society took care of us, and they basically took that into account. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, we're s- they're still trying to deprogram that. They're still trying but to so, deconstruct so, that. So do you, do, but like, would mm-hmm. you disagree with just like the no like other circumstances that crime happening would you think that it's sexist that a man gets a worse punishment in terms of the prison it, would, it is sexist yes. yeah i think the reason i push back on this one is mostly what is the end objective then do you <coughs> want men and women to be socially basically punished at the same level or absolutely do you want, yeah pause or do you want like men to continue being full of their agency and to basically say women don't have this level of agency they're t- going to be basically put back into their quote unquote place. I think that there are certain there are certain uh-huh. like examples of things where if you take another human life, no, yes. then it, it, like that then in, in, in any any circumstance that is something that is worthy of no. a very severe punishment. I agree with all of these points, but I also ultimately say that a point in feminist she literature is to make equality so much so that women are also drafted into a military conscription. They want to reach this point where we Do are it. truly st- I see what you mean, but like those are different like for example, women being drafted, the reason why that women don't get drafted and shouldn't get drafted is because they're physically inferior, inferior to men, or they're fe- physically inferior to men, True, and that's yes. why. True, yes. Men make better warriors. But I, I completely agree. But once again, feminism does not account for reality. It wants us to be legally, politically, in every virtue, in every way, eh, the same. But then, but you've got it's some, cut. you've got some of them at the moment. But then there's still all of this, like f- these feminists fighting for equality in every single regard, except for going on the oil rigs and except for driving the ice road trucks, which is essentially your point, and I do agree with you. But with the specific case of murder, I think that if you kill someone and you do murder in the first degree you you deserve a very severe punishment because i don't see the i don't see the difference unless you want to say that women are not as in control of their faculties which i haven't seen the literature on no. i do i do agree that yes if someone kills someone it doesn't matter what sex they are they should receive the same punishment but i do think that there's a reason why men and women have always been treated differently in society and it's to reinforce the fact that there's a lot I agree of with that i agree with you but what? just in, t- in terms of murder it's a bit different yes. I think. And, and I mean, you also, you also made the argument that there's like a cohort of feminists out there that are trying to equalize the draft. I mean, I just don't see any evidence for that, really. I don't think there's a large swath of women or feminists who are trying to get equalization in the draft. And I mean, you feminists and women have had over a hundred years to make that an equal thing. So really, the, the, when it comes to feminism, you're saying, well, there's this, there's this cohort of feminists who, who want equality in all realms. I actually disagree. Feminism, yeah. 
is purely at its mo in the most generous sense of how I define feminism. It's a woman's advocacy movement, and it goes against women's advocacy to advocate for the equalization of the draft because nobody wants to be drafted. However, the reality is men are the only ones that are subject to military conscription. So what feminism is, is it's purely, again, in its most generous sense, I think feminism is much more nasty than how I'm defining it, in the best, most good, good light way I can frame it. Feminism is women's advocacy, but here's the difference. If feminism is not a fight for equality because if some sort of, some version of equality comes to the detriment of women and not their benefit, said feminists will not fight for said equality. If you don't stand to benefit in some way by the introduction of some type of equality, AKA uh, the, the equalization of military conscription in the draft, feminists aren't gonna fight for it, even though that is the supposed and alleged mission statement of feminism. Are so, you, Are you familiar with Phyllis Schlafly? Yes, Phyllis Schlafly. Uh, not really, no. So she was trying to, or not she, but rather the feminists of the 70s were trying to propose the Equal Rights Amendment, which would make military conscription necessary for 50 women. 50 years later. That being said, no, no, no. It's wait, not there yet. The Feminism has always been for a minority of women. The majority of women have always resisted it to the social conditioning that they've received. So for example, what we see nowadays is women rejecting the idea of like redefining gender, redefining sex, but unfortunately what the establishment pushes is for that minority of women's voices because it will fractalize society to a point where we're, more, we're all more controllable. But mm -hmm. feminism has always been something that every single generation has opposed. So during the Equal Rights Amendments, they basically posed that women and men should be exactly the same. I would and say that I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, been but, opposed. But, 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 yeah, over the last 20 years or so. The anti suffragette you, movement has always, there's always been. But look, but but look over the last 20 years. Feminism is yeah. the culture. Feminism yeah. is the mainstream. Mm -hmm. Feminism has its claws in every system yes. and every institution in mm -hmm. this country. If you, if you look at the higher education system, if you look at corporations, if you look at governments, if you look at media, if you look at news, if you look at journalism, these are very like feminist influence institutions mm -hmm. and systems. And also the, the podcast that we're on right now is a perfect example of it. And all of the other podcasts that have been sort of in the more manosphere, red pill space, they get demonized to no end mm -hmm. because finally some people are actually talking to men in the modern world and these podcasts get called toxic masculinity and you guys hate women and all that when really it's just a bunch of men getting together to try and figure out how to sort of navigate the modern dating world and then you get these podcasts where we come and speak to you guys and we might call you delusional at times etc but yeah so this these podcasts are a perfect example of the way that if you dare to question feminism in the modern world you will get dragged from pillar to post i completely oh, agree on the same yeah. thing major and the same thing happens to women, where if you question feminism, you're considered anti-woman. That's always been the rhetoric, that, the tactic that they've true. used since the dawn of time. And every iteration of feminism that we're acquainted with is the one that came from the generation before, that established it as the mode of academia, of psychiatry, of media, of X, Y, or Z. So that's why it's like, in every generation, you basically have to look back to the paleoconservative era where that was the dominant culture and think, okay, well, if they reflect the same mindset that we have nowadays, where we're resisting the new, but wanting to with basically retain the old, or yeah, basically retain the old, and we have some criticisms of what's currently going, oh, excuse me, of what's currently going on, then maybe then our quote unquote progress should basically be a return to tradition. Here, let's. Yeah, um, I agree with that 